Hold the phone. Man, would you check out this one? This is, uh, I'm happy to get this one on the channel. This is one of the cooler floor plans for sure. Again, we're here at Bloomington, Indiana at Clear Creek Homes, and we are standing outside of the Glenwood. This is a custom ranch. It is a Ritz craft floor plan, and it is a three bedroom, two bath. It's approximately 1,740 square foot. Cute, cute, cute. That's all I'm gonna say about this one. Uh, the price, as we're going to be touring it today, is approximately $273,000. That includes this kind of uh, saddle porch area that comes as a kit with the home. Uh, of course, that price can change due to a whole wide variety of reasons, and it may or may not be the price that you pay if you decide to make this home yours. Just keep that in mind. Uh, this is my disclaimer. Just in case you didn't know, I'm not affiliated with any of the models that I show on the channel, nor do I try and actually sell them to you. I'm here for inspiration and sometimes entertainment purposes, though that last part, very rare. <laughs> Plenty of windows back here, as you can see. Again, all white vinyl siding with all that black trim looking really nice. Now, before we go inside, if you haven't already, some of them may or may not be on the channel. They got a whole bunch of cool modular homes here. Super excited. And I hope y'all will enjoy them. Uh, some of them may or may not be up on the channel yet, but we will get there. This porch, this is something special. Cool beams up here. All right, all right. I know you're ready to get in. Uh, so this is your view when you do first walk in this home. Pretty cool looking. And the even cooler part is that you have an actual foyer. Very nice. So definitely not a closet in here, but through the decorating here at Clear Creek, which they have done a phenomenal job, by the way, um, kind of gives you an idea. You put a little coat rack right there hang up your jackets if you wanted to. And then you have these nice vinyl plank floors running throughout most of the home. Now, at the end of the foyer, you do kind of open up into your living room, kitchen, dining room areas, but then also to the left right here, which we're gonna go ahead and do first, you have your two bedrooms and your first full bathroom. So you have single vanity, plenty of counter space, your vanity lights, and one thing that a lot of these homes have been having is just absolutely amazing countertops. They've had granite, quartz, all different types of stuff. So toilet, shower and tub combo. And then right around the corner from that, you enter into your first bedroom. They've got a couple just little pieces that you can pick. Of course, they have their main office up there, which has other options for you to choose from too. You can come check out all their cool little homes. They got music playing outside and everything. It's like a cool little atmosphere, you know what I mean? But anyway, nice big room over here. Check out this closet. Ooh. Pretty deep little step-in closet. That's nice. And then as far as the light fixtures in here, go ahead and point those out to you too. You have recessed lighting. I think that goes pretty much throughout the whole home. And then across the hall, you have your second bedroom. Now this one is a little bit smaller. Of course, that could just be the way that it's oriented also. We'll have to look at the floor plan. And then you have the closet in here. All right. Now going back towards the end of the hall in the foyer, we'll swing around and hit up our living room. 
which are really pretty living room, great big windows over here. I love the accent wall. And then you have this nice floating entertainment center. That's pretty cool. Got some nice cabinets in here. Very rustic looking shiplap. And then turning you around, looking back into the dining room and the kitchen area. The dining room separating the living room and the kitchen. Very nice. You do have a door back there. And then this little contraption up here is the head to your mini split, which is just, like I said, on the outside. It's just for us to kind of be cool and comfortable as we're touring the home. It wouldn't actually be there if you were to have this home built, unless you opted for it. I guess that's always an option. And then coming into the kitchen. Fancy, fancy, fancy. So we'll start over here, your refrigerator. You got some cabinets up above there. Your dishwasher, nice undermount sink, the removable spigot head. And then you have a window right above that. Let's see what's in this. So you got a nice corner cabinet over here. Nice glass tile backsplash. Then you have your stove and range hood and then more, 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 more cabinets. And then right here where this plant is uh, would be where your microwave would go. So if there's an outlet back there. And then you have some pot and pan drawers right here. These things are pretty deep. And then turning you around, you have this island, cute pendant lights hanging down over the top of it. Pretty big drawers and soft clothes. And then the cabinets, they got the drawers all wrapped up tight in there. And you do have a nice little lip on this side for a couple stools. And then right off of the kitchen, you have, let's go over here to the right first. This is your utility room. So you have your washer and dryer hookups. Got this window up here by the porch. And then your wash basin. And then this is probably gonna be like your utility closet with your furnace and water heater. And then across the hall from that, you do have your master bedroom, which is nice because you don't have to carry your clothes real far. Got the kids having to lug all their stuff across the house. <laughs> so nice big room. Something we haven't seen too much of lately is a uh, master closet not inside of the bathroom. I mean, there have been some, but I get that it saves space and everything, but I don't know. I like it not in the bathroom personally. And then coming into the ensuite, you have a great big double vanity. You've got some towel racks down below it, vanity lights, toilet, and then you have some more cabinets, linen cabinets, and then this nice shower with the tile surround, nice bronze fixtures, and then you even have a bench towards the back also. And then the cool glass door. All right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you wanna check out another extraordinary modular home, why yes, yes it is, click on this video. I think you're gonna like it. If you want any more information on this model or Clear Creek Homes, you can find that information down in the description and also over at timothypeelivingston.com. Thank you so much 
for hanging out with me today. I hope you have an amazing day. My name is Timothy, and I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.